Hey guys, what's up? Um, I've been asked a lot, how do I stream to YouTube um, with OBS Studio? So I'm going to show you how I do this. First thing you need to do, let's go grab OBS Studio, type in Google search OBS, uh, hit enter and it should be the top one. Open broadcaster software, home. Click it, download it. Once installed guys, this is what you need to do. Open it up, obviously. Please pay attention to the entire video because it's very important. This little mixer set in here, you must come back to this in a bit because it must be set to one on one. So we'll we'll go over that in a minute, but this is highly important. Otherwise it will miss out audio on your stream. So please pay attention to that. It'll be near, the, near toward the end of the video. Okay, first thing we're gonna do guys is settings. Right here, in general, I leave completely default. We don't need to touch it. In stream, I go to custom, streaming server here I will open up my YouTube I will go to creator studio I will click live streaming after I've done that what I will do is I will scroll down and here you will see a server URL and a stream name key now obviously I'm not going to reveal my stream key Otherwise, you'll end up streaming to my YouTube just to be funny. Okay, now I'm going to get the OBS up here. And as you can see, the key here, copy the URL into the URL, copy the stream name key into the stream key here. And that part is done. Okay. So second, uh, once we've done this, uh, we're going to go to output. We're going to go to advanced. We're going to go to streaming. Very important to put audio track one. Uh, encoder is NVIDIA Shadow Play Encoder, the NVENC H.264. Uh, I enforce streaming service encoding settings. Uh, rescale output is 1280 by 720p. Uh, constant bitrate, 2500 bitrate up. It is a perfect, you don't need any more than that at all. Just make sure you've got about 5 megabyte upload speed and you should be, get, be good to go to stream and to either host or just play multiplayer with these 2500 upgrade. Okay, keyframe interval, I put on two. It prevents any stutter, lags or anything like that. Uh, presets are default, profile is main, level is auto. Check, use two pass encoding, uh, GPU zero and B frames two. Okay, now to the audio. I set to 48 kilohertz for better audio quality. Uh, channels is stereo. Uh, my desktop audio, always select your headphones, never a loudspeaker device, always your headphones. So your incoming voice and uh, your game comes out your headset. And then it won't echo back down your mic, which is fantastic. Uh, then select your microphone, uh, the rest you can disable. This bit here, default guys, don't need it. Uh, video here, don't need that one. Hotkeys, I like to put F8 for uh, start streaming, stop streaming. And I also like to add a mute mic option as well, an unmute mic. Uh, advanced, we don't need to touch that. So there we go, that's perfect. Now, once we've set that up, as I said, you have to put this mixer, uh, your mic and your desktop audio onto the same track. It must be one on one. If it is not, let's say if I unclick this and put it on two to separate audio tracks, uh, they won't hear the game. They will just hear the mic, nothing else. So make sure that they are on one and one unchecked. And all these are unchecked. Otherwise, you know, you'll get overlaying sound. So make sure only one is checked. Okay, guys, now we're going to add our game scene. Now, that there should be already a scene here. If there isn't, just add one and just name it whatever you want. Uh, right click here, go to add. Go to game, let's find game capture, there it is. Now this will add any game, you don't have to uh, select a specific game, just put game capture. Uh, capture any full screen application. Uh, I like to capture cursor and I also use anti-cheat compatibility, this is great for like games like Armour and so on. And uh, you can also capture third party overlays such as Steam overlays and so on if you want to click that up. So I'm going to click that because I like to do that. Okay, once we've got that, that's our game capture sorted. Uh, you will want to add something like uh, when you see somebody streaming and they're using, um, say, browser source, which we're going to add now. They have like pop-ups come up on their screen, um, such and such subbed or such and such donated or, or just game chat and so on. Now to do this, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to log into, where is it? There it is, streamlabs.com 
and this will prompt you to sign in either with your Twitch or your YouTube. Sign in with your YouTube. Once you've done that, click the alert box or whichever one you, I mean, I personally use the event list, but click the alert box, click show URL. Once you've got the URL popped up here, look, copy it, go back into OBS, right click, add, go to browser source and here, I'm going to put um, alert box because that's what it's called. Alert uh, box. Click OK. And in the URL at the top here, look, I'm going to copy that URL that we just copied from uh, Streamlabs. And as you can see, some has popped up here in my OBS. I'm going to click it and it's, there it is. There's a big box. And what does that big box do? Well, let's just have a look at that. If we launch now this alert box here, what you can see, if we just pull it to one side and go back to Streamlabs, we can test, say, uh, a Super Chat. And look at that, guys. A little thing pops up. Now, this is great because what you do is you drag this down and you put it onto your second monitor. You can see in big writing who has subbed or who's done whatever. So let's just put that back up. Uh, test subscriber. Look, BRT Cobra just subscribe, and it's perfect. And you can obviously adjust this, you know, within your OBS. So you see it pops up there. Did you see that? Uh, let's just do that again. So we go back to uh, Streamlabs, back to Alert Box. Now we're going to do it again. We're going to test a Super Chat. As you can see, it pops up on the stream. And you can just adjust this with however you want to. There we go. We are good. That pops up. And uh, you don't need to keep an eye on OBS to see who's sub. You just leave this open whenever you're streaming and you get it in massive letters, so it's perfect. Um, what else do we need to cover? Um, yeah, let's go back to YouTube now. Let's just minimize this. Okay, so we're back at stream now and here, uh, this is where you can change your thumbnail for your stream. You can add your title, your description. Uh, here you'll see the chat and so on. But what I tend to do is I go to view on watch page. I then pop out the chat like so. And then the information box, this big old green box here, so you can see who's subbed, is right there. You just you can just blatantly see it on your second screen. Just drag it over to your second screen, job done. And here you'll see the YouTube chat. And when you're streaming, nice and easy to see chat and who's subbed. And I think that pretty much covers everything. Um, I don't know what else there is. If you want to add a camera, I suppose you just go down here, look, and you've just clicked down to uh, video capture device, and then you add your camera, but I don't currently have one, but that's how you do that. It's nice and simple. But yeah, there we go. So that's my stream settings. Basically, uh, dead simple, easy to do. There we go, that's them there. So I hope this video helped you out, guys. Um, at the moment you see that it's gone to video capture device in here so when you do make changes uh, you will need to readjust the mix as you can see it's gone a little bit mental uh, video capture device that is for the camera you want to always turn that off so yeah now, now we're back to just two again but yeah there we go always check that mixer very important to be on one-on-one -on -one with mic and desktop audio but yeah i hope this video helped you out guys um it's what i use it's how i stream and it works for me uh, let me know what you think. Remember, it is only for NVIDIA. Sorry, sorry, AMD, but yeah, this is just lossless and nice and easy. But I'm going to go. Enjoy your streaming. See you next time. Bye-bye.